We are live back in the duck call room. No, I'm kidding. Hi. Oh, Hi. are we good? Ready whenever y'all are? How come we never uh, build duck calls? In the duck call room? Yeah. I've answered that question for years. What, huh. do, what do y'all do around there? Y'all don't y'all don't really build yeah, duck I'm calls. Not. Every time they show y'all, y'all are goofing off. <laughs> I know it. Hey. Yeah, well, you know, that's part of it. But uh anyway, look, if you're new to the podcast, we appreciate you tuning in. Uh, you can find us anywhere, Apple Podcasts, Google Play Store, all of that kind of good stuff. You can also get next to Godwin's Coffee Cup. Hey. Um, that, that's the experience of being in Godwin's Coffee Cup if you've missed that. But also check out our YouTube channel. Be sure to like, subscribe. That way you get all the notifications of this podcast. And that's all the stuff that we have to do at the beginning. And now we're going to get into this week's show. Godwin, <laughs> tell yeah. me one thing has happened to you this week. One thing that's happened to me. Yeah, give me something good. I need to know something. Ha. Well, I mean, duck hunting. I've been duck hunting. That's good. Right. I didn't know hey. I was going on an 800-mile hike when you took me down there. But <laughs> he thought, oh, we got a little walk. It was a little walk. It's down a road. No, hey, yeah, he got a walk. A ways. <laughs> he said he got to walk, boys. But, but uh, hey. it could have been good. Uh, in case y'all are wondering, Sai this week has got a haircut so and, and a very <laughs> bright shirt. And, uh, hey. No, we got old Phil. No, 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 hey, 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 hey. He does uh, the best Sai impression of anybody. Well, he should. Stone he, does a pretty good one, too. They essentially live with him. So, I mean, they should do a really good one. This is also true. No, 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 no. That's, a, that's no, the hey, great thing hey, about no, Sai. Hey. No, no means no, yes. No, no. Yeah, he's yeah. T- he's tuned in when he says no, no. Yeah. No, no. If you ever get the no no hey, you he's you got his attention. And that's a that's as good as a yes as you're ever gonna get from him. Right oh, yeah. there. The no no hey, that means yeah, he agrees with you. Yeah, if he no. says yeah, that means he Uh-oh. thinks you're yeah. full of crap. You better you better so, change something. Yeah, the yepping when the yepping starts, it's yep, 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 until he seals you all the way off. Yep, yep, yep. yep. Turns his head, yep, yep, yep. yep. Generally at some point there you hear the phone click because he just hung up on you. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not interested no yep. them robertsons ain't much on saying bye it's I, I, yeah 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 or yep, yep, or cool. or meeting and greeting and welcome and social skills and manners and <laughs> <laughs> i'm sorry john david i know you're i'm not a robertson 100 percent. people no, get that you. confused they think i'm willie's nephew or co- i'm Corey's cousin people yeah i'm from the pretty side of willie's family it's well, obvious what nope obvious obvious that i'm obvious. way prettier then the Willie part of the family. I'm from the Corey side of the family. Thank you. You remember John David I'm ten years ago? He was pretty, wasn't he? He w- see. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I remember looking across at him at church and like thinking, Golly, that, that, that man's got a white face. Like it was just bright white because he had to shave so much. Yeah. You had to shave in high school because you went to OCS and beards were that was a no fly zone. Frowned, Frowned upon. upon. Yeah. So. I, I had a job uh, as a waiter for two weeks, and I had to shave. And I did the lunch shift, shaved that morning, came back for the dinner shift, and they were like, you need to shave. I said, nah. <laughs> I, sh- I shaved this morning. I ain't doing Wolf it man. twice in a day. They are like, well, that's too much. And I said, well, I guess I'm better to cut out mow yards because I'm out. And, and I quit right there. I guess that's one of the reasons you get confused with Jeff all the time. Because y'all both have like the super high beard. Like have, if you let it roll, the only thing that'd be out would be your eyes. We so. have excellent facial hair. Yeah. Me and Jeff really know how to grow the perfect beard. Yeah. I've been trimming mine up lately, though. That's good. Put a little product in there sometimes. You never even know. Little, hey, there little you go. Wild Willy's little beard. Wild, wild Willy's, beard, Willy's essential oils. <laughs> yeah. What? Hey, that's, that's when we're getting fancy. Brought that's, to you by that's like wild only Willy's. for church and. I didn't do that for y'all today. I'm going to be honest. Well, uh, shocker. You also didn't put on shoes with laces. and I never wear shoes with laces. And Even if they have laces, I don't tie them. And your pants don't have buttons. So, I mean, yeah, yeah it's, it's too much <laughs> trouble. Too the much, fact that you didn't put beard work. product in, yeah, that's a shock. No, to he's, took, he's took, he's took uh, different things out of having to get dressed. Oh, he's, I, he's fed it up. I can be in the car within five minutes after I wake up if I need to go somewhere. Mm-hmm. I still brush my teeth. Deodorant. Oh. I got the deodorant in the car or at my desk. I'm going to say no to that. 
<laughs> well, you <laughs> are. Sorry, but sorry, it's sorry, John <laughs> no, it's it's brush teeth, deodorant. There's no hair. There's no trimming of beards. That's like a once every four months thing. That's crazy. When I wake up in the morning, I. I have to give myself a little time. Like, I don't know. There's a few things that's got to happen before I leave my house. One coffee. Is, yeah. I don't I, need coffee either. I was going to say relieve my lower bowel. Like, I, I need Ooh. to do that at home well, before fun. I go somewhere. So. I mean, that's. But that's what the coffee's for? For you? I don't know. <laughs> he don't drink, know. He drinks op, it all optional. day long. Optional. No, nah, there's coffee. something about pooping at home that, I mean, you got to have home field advantage uh, on that. Deal. If I was like, on an island. I would have a a fishing pole. That's a good one. <laughs> a coffee, five gallon bucket, and my woman. A coffee, because she could cook what I catch. What is a coffee? Of like course, a, I can ca- cook what I catch too. But you know, you need companionship. Huh? I think what that is interesting. What what's on your list? Three things since Godwin gave us three deserted island. Three things. Where you at, Johnny? Dude? A house. Yeah, Ooh, that's one. a good one. <laughs> No, Three wishes, a genie, uh, yeah. a couple of genies, yeah, mm-hmm. and six wishes. <laughs> uh, so you're yeah. going with shelter. Sh- oh, yeah, and you wouldn't need a fishing pole unless it was like a, what kind of island is this? I got a lot of questions about this island. Well, island means it's surrounded by water. So. Uh, yeah, but Greenland's an island, too. That's a cold one. That's shelter still, but they got fish. Are we Caribbean island? Yeah, let's go Caribbean. I like Caribbean. <laughs> Goblin would rather be warm than cold. Yeah, so. I'm with Goblin on this one. Yeah, no, fishing pole's number one because you got to be able to eat. Yeah. And I could live off fish. Yeah. I would like chicken. Ooh, just two chickens. Two. A male and a female. Well, you got some eggs. And then oh, and then you get more chickens. Yeah. Okay. I can hmm. eat some chicken. Next. That's, so that's two. And a house. And a house. House, okay. fishing pole, and chicken. Like my house, though. Not yeah. just... I want to take my house with so me. So where's your woman? She's in the house. Oh, okay. You can oh, fit a lot of stuff in the house. Okay. We got technicalities okay. now. We got okay. TV in given. there. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah. We, we, we'll be all right. Satellite. I, I'm taking me something. I don't know what all three, but I'm taking me something to start a fire with. I'm just telling you right now. I, uh, I'm not right. a... There's a stove no, in my I, house. I've tried that rubbing two sticks together. No. I, mm-hmm. I, Your boy, that ain't me. I, I'm a, I need a lighter. Of some sort. You need I, a backpack full of stuff. I do. I need a really big duffel bag Somewhere. with all my supplies, like a saw, something to light something with, fishing pole. I, I don't need the pole. I think I can make me something to catch fish with when you're surrounded by them. But, yeah, I, I, I need something to start a fire. Because, I mean, you look at a fire. Fire? Have you, when you build fire, a fire, yeah. what do you do? You just look at it every time. You spit in it. Well, you pee on it when it's all said and done with. But yeah. y'all aren't very nice to your fires. Well, you ain't ever heard that that phrase, the old the old man phrase, calling the dogs and pee on the fire. That means it's time to go, boys. It's, it's time to get out of here. I have heard yeah. that one. Have you heard that? Yeah, I've heard oh, that. Yeah, sure. But I thought we were on a deserted island, so we're not going anywhere. Yeah, but well, uh, we're Quit going. peeing on the fire. Well, I mean, you got to though. Now Smoke, you're peeing on my fire. Smokey the bear says only you can prevent forest That's right. fire. Only you can prevent forest fire. So yeah, there if you, go. I've never started. If you burn your fire. forest down, you won't have nothing to make a shelter with. I fell into a burning ring of fire. Think, we do not own the rights to that music. Yeah, that's copyrighted. Um, that's but a, that was that was <laughs> Phil's version. Yeah, Phil, I didn't know but, you could sing. Oh, I cannot sing. I can't tow the tune in a bucket. None of those surprise me. Yep. I can't sing it. either. So I mean, I'm glad yeah. this is a talk show and not a singing show. Philip, what, where's where's your what's your list? Where I don't know. Um, I want to have my wife there first of all. Yeah. And then uh, if I get to choose, probably friends and fishing equipment with a boat. Oh, he wants the boat. We've all gone way over three. Yeah. Well, look, yeah, if, really we, fun, it, it, well, three, if we're yeah. all on the same desert island, deserted island. It ain't deserted no more. Well, no. we'll be. <laughs> yeah. It'd be colonized. We could share. Yeah. A community, if you oh, will. Everybody will have enough Compound. stuff. Yeah. Oh, we'll know. just share. <laughs> you give me your list, and I'll make my list. That way we yeah, all got right. plenty. Hey, I've been with you guys, these two over here, Godwin and Martin, on a semi-deserted island. It was deserted. What, we stayed uh, uh, in the middle of the Mississippi River. No, no, this no. Like, we was in the Bahamas. No. The Bahamas. We was you in Exuma. Fancy yeah. suckers. Yes, and was was that 
did that house that we stay in, in did it belong to uh, a famous singer? I don't a female? know. Female? Because they told me that um, Taylor Swift owned that house. Uh, it was a summer house for her. Boy, I don't know. I didn't see any old. They got you on that one, didn't they? <laughs> hey, <laughs> you read the brochure. <laughs> yeah, I didn't see any old ex-boyfriend. How around, many so How many people have you told not. that? that you I haven't to told anybody nice except for the you. million that are listening today. Yeah. <laughs> Got a million. Millions, brother. <laughs> millions, yeah. brother. Millions. That was fun, though. It was fun. Oh, that. The funnest, yeah. the funnest is when we were all out there and Martin jumped and landed right next to Cy si and did a cannonball. Yeah. I, I got that picture. Cy si, si, si si floated up. <laughs> He's like, hey, hey, ho, ho, ho. Si I took a picture of that, and the way it looks, it looks like he's going to land right on top of it. Yeah. Yeah, I need to was, see this picture. It was fun. Yeah. So I only got to enjoy one day of that vacation, though, because we went fishing. He put on sunscreen at like <laughs> 6 a.m. He did not reapply uh -uh. at any point. That's, and, that's when you don't want to be stubborn. It, it's not a good quality. Yeah. Reapply. But okay. Yep. Not no. Kids. That boy never stepped. The next time he stepped outside was to go back to the airplane. Yeah. I remember his. <laughs> That's his today's knees, lesson. His knees were just glowing, <laughs> making the sound. Uh, <laughs> all he did was he would sleep all day and he'd play dominoes all night. So you'd yeah. be trying to go to bed at three a.m. Yeah. and all you hear above you. Is, yeah. Sai slamming Damn. dominoes. And we're like, we've been up all day. We're trying to go to bed. No, he's up and he'd play by himself. Just <laughs> like slamming yeah. dominoes against himself. What all games does Sai play against? Because last week we talked about Sai poker. playing poker by himself. Yeah. yeah. This well, week he plays dominoes. He by plays himself. dominoes, but see, so he's, he's trying to lure somebody in. He's got all these sayings and Stone and all the Robertsons have them. He's like, bam, that's 10. And he says, oh, there's five standard oil, boys. That ain't going to nobody count off that one. There's 20 stitches in your britches. Yep. Bam. Yeah. Uh, and then some some other sayings I don't, I've oh, never yeah, heard of. Well, we'll keep some of them off of there. Cause, oh, yeah. boy. We don't tell all the sayings. No, we don't want to tell all the secrets. He's got, but, he's got the boys he plays with. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, hey, boys. Boys. Right, boys. Okay, boys. Ha, ha, ha. Uh, okay, boys. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, hey. Well, hey. He is. Hey, I'll tell you what Sai is. He's a good audience when you need a crowd. I'll just tell you that right now. That's the best thing about that, that mm -hmm. rascal. Well, but, you know, the Robertsons have always been competitive. At every, oh, always uh, competitive. I think that's why Sai si could not help but jump. Remember we talked about the big jump where he gets in the monster truck and jumps oh, all yeah. the cars? Yeah. By the way, I got that picture. I'm sending it to you. Yeah, we, we, have, we have to talk about that later because we got lots of emails about that yeah. picture. Perfect. Really? Hey, Stay tuned. The competitions, that's kind of what Phil stood out for on Duck Dynasty. So, hey, when we get back after this, we're going to talk about old Phil old and his Phil. competitive streak. You don't want to miss Robert. it. Oh, look, now see, everybody's laughing and carrying on. You know what's not funny? <laughs> Bad credit. That's not funny. Then did you know Ouch. that the average person has 97 points that they can gain? That's 97 points they can gain That's to their good. credit score. So if you go to ScoreMaster, they have these credit scientists. I wonder, I've always wondered since they're scientists, do they wear like lab coats and goggles oh, got and, to. And, Mandatory. and stuff like that? Mathematicians? That's, see, that's what I would think, that they'd be mathematicians. But they like to call themselves science scientists. So they discovered an algorithm that will boost your credit score. Not, mm. not a few points, but up to 97 points. And most people get a boost of 61 points in 20 days or less. Wow. They tell you how to make the credit bureaus work for you. So... If you're buying a car, that can save you like ten grand over the over the life of the loan. And if you're buying a home, it can save you like a hundred grand. That's a lot of money for a car. Guarantee. That's like a coupon. That's that's what I'm talking a really about. Really good coupon. It's like buy one, get one almost free. So anyway, mm -hmm. if you go there, you can get sixty one points, twenty days or less. So um, all you have to do is go to scoremaster.com. Scoremaster puts you in control of your finances. You can enroll in minutes and see how many points you can add to your score at scoremaster.com slash duck. That is scoremaster.com slash duck. Uh, so one wow. of our biggest comments is obviously about the show and Philip's expertise at blowing a duck call. That was fantastic. <laughs> yeah. um, Thank you very much. Or like so, thereof, I should say. But everybody wants to know, Phil, where did Phil? Phil come from 
Where, where, how does Phil fit in? Because it's obvious we're we're friends. We're not we're well, not enemies. You're not the Mac villain, right? But yes, he is well, a little bit. Well, here's the deal. Years ago, I was very villainy McMillany. <laughs> so Willie told us a story. I just want to fact check this because it's not on the internet. Uh, he was just driving through town, and you had some truck with an afro. And you were just fanning money for everyone. To, is that true? <laughs> that is correct. <laughs> <laughs> what happened was I was going to school and able to work a little bit part time. And uh, I'm older than Willie, but younger than Jace. Um, Thank you. That's right. So I was driving down the road and I pull up beside Willie and he's got that orange Mustang. Remember that car? Yeah. That's, there's a good story behind that car. There's a good, there's a good story behind it. So I just fanned all those hundreds at him and waved it to him, and then I squalled the tires, and he's just sitting there looking at me like, who is this guy? <laughs> you know? But but I knew his brother, well, still know his brother, Jace, and when we were in high school together, Jace was really walking the straight and narrow. You know, I couldn't stand him for it, you know, because <laughs> I was not walking the straight and narrow. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not telling any of those stories, but <laughs> but I, the last person I ever wanted to see was was Jason because we didn't get along. I didn't like him, and he didn't voice it, but I don't think he liked me very much either. So when when I was out of high school, I think I was at ULM, and uh, I ran across an old buddy of mine, and he said, "Hey, I'd like for you to come to a Bible study." I said, "Great, you know, I'll come and check it out." And uh, I walked in, and Jason Robertson is standing there. He's like, Philip McMillan. I said, all right, what's up, Jason? He said, do I got news for you? <laughs> <laughs> I said, this is the last thing I want to hear from him. But he shared the gospel with me and, and with my girlfriend later. And now we've been married for almost 30 years. So, um, yeah, I love Jace. We're, we get along great. Me and Willie get along great. Uh, but it wasn't always like that. We were very competitive, especially me and Willie. And that's what you were on the on Duck Down. It was the competitive feel. Yeah. It was the competitive you know. villain more so than the person that, that we didn't like. But we yeah, needed that right. competition because you need Willie bought into the competition. And anything that involves beating you, oh yeah, he's 100% bought well, in yeah. on And that. I'm going to tell so. you, he's not going to tell you, but I'm going to tell you. <laughs> oh, boy. That's because we... We used to be so competitive in everything you can think of. Softball, who's well, I'm going to tell you who the winner was as I tell you the different things we did. <laughs> Softball, Philip McMillan. <laughs> Foot race, Philip McMillan. <laughs> basketball. Oh, Philip McMillan. Oh, that's that. No, no, true. no. He, no, Willie was better at basketball, but we. No, raced. no, no. That's probably not true either. Willie's friends were all just better at basketball. No, Willie was. Was pretty good. Yeah, I mean, really. But, and then he hurt his knee and kind of got a little bit worse. Yeah. What about but, uh, volleyball? <laughs> <laughs> Did you say volleyball? Yeah. <laughs> Philip McMillan. <laughs> 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 so, uh, so we we've been competitive all of our lives, really. And uh, you know, uh, when the show started, Willie called me. He said, "Hey, you feel like a race?" I said, "You name it." Horses, motorcycles, four wheelers, golf carts, whatever. He said, We're going to be racing lawnmowers. I said, Oh, do I have a lawnmower ready for you? Uh, <laughs> and then who won that? <laughs> Philip McMillan. Oh, wait a minute. Fact check. Who oh. did win that? Willie did. Did he? Well, he didn't win the race, but he what? He cheated. What, I, I, I know he cheated. Who went across the. He beat me across the line on the last lap because I threw a fan, I mean, a belt off of my mower. And he passes me and crosses before me. And anyway, he sent sent me on home with that one. Yeah. Now look, but but whoever wins in all these competitions on the show, whoever wins wins. So when we raced the outhouses and Jace was driving, oh y'all were there. Uh, we were the <laughs> <I> engine. <forgot. laughs> yeah. We were the engine. We were, but hey, yeah. hey, I beat him yeah. barely, yeah. barely beat him. He actually thought he won that race. Yeah. Uh, and I told him because you know we oh, yeah, pushed it, and then we ran down the hill to see the result. Oh, it was close. Yeah. It was. Really it was close. close. But I told him he come out. He's like, yeah. I was like, no, Hammer, we lost. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we got beat on that deal. The best line was Mountain Man. He says, Randers McMillan, <laughs> bar hair, 
bar here. Well, no. But that then, that was ten minutes after the race. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the race was over. But then talking. the volley, the volleyball episode, uh, dodgeball, do- dodgeball was awesome, um, and we had a great time playing. But they did beat us in fair and square. I yeah. remember them the first time we started hanging out with Al and him, Al and Lisa, and Al said, "Let's go play volleyball." It was after house church at Camp Choke. Oh, I've yeah. never been to a volleyball game where you left holding holding napkins on your nose. <laughs> I mean, it was blood. Robertson's. I mean, full, <laughs> full contact volleyball. That's what it was. was. <laughs> I, I said, we weren't ready for this. I, I said, I know. Yeah, there was one time when Corey's family had a volleyball match. And, you know, we're all just having fun. And Corey's cousin on the other side, he's like three years younger than me. He's like nine at the time. Willie comes up over the top ropes and just slams one square in this kid's face, oh. and everybody panics. Ooh. But Willie just starts dying laughing, and I'm over there <laughs> like, "That is kind of funny, Willie." Oh, uh, he they're they're competitive. Well, that's no the, matter the age, he's gonna slam you. That's like during that first Benelli Presents Duck Commander show. Whenever we played basketball against y'all, basically, mm-hmm. essentially, oh, and yeah. then Willie was like. You know, I set a pretty hard pick, and then I, I ran over somebody. I don't even remember who it was, but he said, you realize that's Corey's cousin, right? I was like, I don't care. He was Same that, kid. He Same was kid. in my way. Same kid that got hit in the face oh, yeah. wow. with the, uh, well, that with the ought volleyball. To, that ought to teach him to get out of the way. He never oh, really yeah. got out yeah. of the way of stuff. No, he was trying to, like, take a charge, and I'm like, bro, you better get out of my way. This is <laughs> offensive lineman coming through. I didn't play center in basketball. So Martin, like, Martin yeah, played I, left guard. Yeah, yeah that was, like, I didn't know much about basketball. All I knew is I started running down this way, and I got down there, and then everybody took off to the other side. <laughs> <laughs> it was punishment for God well, when well, I heard him. keep no, away from me. No, I just waited for him. He's coming back. <laughs> oh, yeah. I didn't go to the other side. That's always my move on basketball is rest on offense. Does anybody, I can't shoot, so like I'm way better to defender as, than I am. Does anybody remember size n- named shot? That the, is, crane. The, the crane. crane. The, the crane. The crane. Okay, yeah. That rascal made that thing. Oh, he, I, a, he he can actually throw the basketball pretty good. I couldn't believe it. It was a three-point hook shot that everybody swore up and down was faked. And so I just got it. Look, and I'll tell you this. He practiced all day before that trying to make that shot. And I think he hit the rim about three times. Never touched the backboard. All of a sudden, like, all right, we're rolling Drano. I'm like, no, no. you want to talk about a gamer? Like, oh, yeah. Ain't, he, ain't he, even scared He's it. a gamer. And then, boop, count it, three. And then he took himself out of the game. He's like, oh, time out. Coach, I'm good. He knew it was only going to go down from there. So. The last time we went to Mississippi, me and Cy, for some event he's doing, um, we were throwing axes, okay? <laughs> so there's a place where you can go Dangerous. <laughs> Sigh and axes? Yeah. yeah. Mm, no, sir. He ain't even waiting for you to get out of the way. Oh, no. No, you got to. It's heads up. Every man for himself. <laughs> if you're anywhere with Sigh and axes. So they're teaching us how to throw, and we're learning, and I'm actually doing pretty good, and Sigh is actually better than I would ever think. I mean, he's pretty good at throwing axes. I mean, I don't know where he learns it. So we have a team, and it's about three or four of us against Sigh and three or four people, you know. And we're throwing these these hand axes, and we're way ahead. And the only way they can win, size last shot, is to hit a, and I don't know all the rules to axe throwing, but there's a little mark up above, and you have to call it. And if you hit that thing, it's about, you know, I don't know two inches around. If you hit it, then you get a huge score, and Cy calls his shot. He's like, hey, no, boys, hey, we're out here. Hey, I'm calling it. Bam! Nails it. The place goes wild. Side wins. He's like, "Yep, that's what I thought." <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh, uh, them Robertsons. They have mm. a knack. They they have some weird knack where they're they're in every competition, no matter what it is. It's, yeah. it's bizarre. It's uh, which I guess is what makes you successful at mm. life in general. You know, I mean, yeah. and are usually pretty good at it, even yeah. if they ain't done. It. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Give them a minute, and if you don't, they'll obsess over it until they get good at it, and, and then, then they'll, they'll quit co- that. Then so. they'll come back four weeks later and just beat you down in it. Yeah, yep. and absolutely. Put, and put two hundred on it. That way yeah. they can take your money. Too. So <laughs> that's just that's the way they operate. So, um, but anyway, let's take another break. We'll be right back after this. How Man. many years of research <laughs> and development are in these duck calls? I don't know, but 
I'll tell you this, what, 40 years, almost as much as what's 70. in Omega XL, but not quite. Because Omega XL years. has 35 years of research and development. And I can't wait to get Sai's full report when he joins us again. Yeah. Because he started taking it a few weeks ago, so that's pretty awesome. But Omega XL comes from the pristine waters of New Zealand. Look, it's backed by 35 years of clinical research. What it does is treats the inflammation. It treats the cause of the pain, not just cover it up like most topical creams and all of that stuff do. Um, you know, if you want to right now, we're going to help get you started. You can order Omega XL now. Get a second bottle for free. All you have to do, visit OmegaXL.com slash duck. That's OmegaXL.com slash duck. Or call 1-800-844-4888. That's 800-844-4888. 4888 gets you not one but two bottles of Omega XL. OmegaXL.com slash duck. It's like twice I'm as many do bottles. It. Well, all right. You gonna do it? I'm gonna do it. I've already done it. I got some in my office if you want some. I, think. I want some. I got some extra. Well, and then Anything I'll just that's gonna take away pain, I'm in. Hey, it is good. Well, buddy. There you go. Boom. Boom. You done. Boom. Yeah. There you go. OmegaXL.com slash duck. It's a goblin. What's that? What was your favorite episode that we filmed? I, I am legitimately curious about this. What was your favorite episode? Now, I I put them in two categories. Okay. One is to watch, favorite episode to watch, and one is favorite episode to participate in. I'll take either one. Well, I'll give you both of them. Okay. <laughs> both of them. <laughs> both of them. I got one for each of you. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, the To watch was when Phil was cleaning the wood ducks and Sai was telling the story of <laughs> Nom with their kid at school. They went to school. Have you kids ever heard of Nom? Yeah. <laughs> he bandaged up his shoulder, then a bingo tiger tore his out. Yeah. <laughs> I that remember was, watching that. Yeah, that was a good one. That was always like the really fun part was watching the stuff that we weren't a part of yeah. because you you never knew what the other side of the episode was because you were like separated for the whole thing. And then mm -hmm. when you would get to watch it for the first time, I, I, I'm with you. When they panned over to sign and said, "Have you kids ever heard of Nom?" I was <laughs> like, "Oh my gosh!" Like, <laughs> what's what? thing to say? Oh, uh, that was a good one. I, I'm with you. That's a good one. I like that. And the one to participate in was your bachelor. Oh, when we got to shoot the cannon. Oh, yeah, we shot a little too far. Didn't we? Yeah. <laughs> but it was good. They trained us how you're supposed to do, and we acted as a team and actually did it the correct way, but it was pretty awesome. Yeah, that was. A cannon going off right beside you is ground With shaking. a projectile in it, not just yeah. the smoke. Like it What went, did y'all shoot? I don't remember what you shot. It was a coffee can. It was a coffee full can concrete. full of concrete is what we sent down range. And I remember asking them boys, I said, now, now how far did that thing shoot? And they said, oh, it, it hit that tree line over there. We was over at Beth River. And uh, I said, well, well, not real far on the other side of that tree line is a house. And he said, oh, no, it won't get there. And we, <laughs> we, we, we loosed that thing. And I yeah. said, uh-oh, it just, it, it. Yeah. It got closer to that house than it should have. Let's just put it that way. It it ended up scary close. It, we was a little bit east of it, yeah. but mm. but it had the distance. It it could have got there. Them things are awesome. That was fun. I forgot. I I kind of forgot because we shot them old muskets and everything. Too. I know it was fun. She now look, Civil War uh, when weapons. You, when you watch them guys on TV. And they got now. This is the first ones where you got to put a little powder in the splash pan, oh, splash yeah. pan, and close it. Now you can't turn that gun. You just think you're in a Revolutionary War or something, and you're somebody shooting at you, and you trying to load that thing. If you turn it a little bit, <laughs> you're out. Yeah, you're Powder's run. Gone. You're run through. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you got to be. Yeah, you think you think trying to find your keys in a panic is something? Oh, yeah. yeah, I mean, <laughs> don't. Get yeah. your powder out of that flash pan, or otherwise you got a six foot nine. Yeah, that's, that's all that's, you got. That's right. Yeah, yeah. So that was pretty interesting to, to see how it really you had to fire. It. So that it was cool. Watch it. He 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 hooks boys. Yeah. Watch yeah. it. Careful. I broke everything. Careful. Sorry. 
Careful, I'm fact good. checker. Johnny D John just David just jumping like around. Throw no, there's like microphone. a bug in my ear, so oh. I'm just trying to scratch my ear and I'm throwing stuff. At now me. we're going hey, back, we're not to hygiene, back to hygiene. Back to hygiene. Now we're back on hygiene. Shower. No shower, I, no shaving. I can be no deodorant. In five minutes. That's what he said. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then he can bring some friends. Hold on, I hear something buzzing <laughs> <laughs> beside me. John David sitting beside me. I hear something. We're good now. It was just an itch. Oh, okay. Well, and that's I, sorry for breaking everything. I say mostly I, wind. He's talking yeah. about over here. Oh, breaking everything. Flatulatory. Yeah, that's the truth. Mm. Yeah, but it is about his bathroom time. You yeah. can set your watch by that boy's bathroom. No. So. hey, we're getting too personal no, here. I'm just telling you right now. Two o'clock at this office, you get to looking for him. He gonna be right through that wall right there. About two to two ten. He, he's he's MIA. So. Mm. But on back to the show. Magic. Thank you. My that favorite. Magic. That was magic in that show, too. Oh, yeah. That, 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 that dude, he was pretty good. Yeah, that was Jep's guest. Shocker for him to bring some weird I magician. Uh, it didn't make it. On the it. Bachelor did party? Did it make mm-hmm. it? Did it make it? A little bit did, I think. I don't know. Well, he some had of that string. And, yeah, yeah was, he's putting that washer in that string and doing it. Yeah. He's gone. That's gone. All gone. But my favorite one was the to be a part of was the I would probably say the redneck water part. You remember that? Oh one? yeah, that was oh, fun. That was awesome. When we had the rope swing off of the yeah. track, hoe. we took that, that cool. tire off and, like and that put one. it on that rim on the yeah. Jeep Bronco <laughs> <laughs> and pull you across it. Uh, now I guess everybody probably knows, but and this may not be anything new, but John Godwin, he's an engineer. I mean, he this can, redneck, yes, oh, he, 100%. he figures things out. I mean, it, it doesn't matter. He can do yeah. it. Oh yeah, he. That's why he's. That's why he's incredibly valuable. Yeah. Because if something moves and it ain't supposed to, he can stop it. And if something don't <laughs> move and it should, he can make it start he moving. Can get it again. going. So it's a. He's a he's a shade tree mechanic. He's a band aid man. He'll tell yeah. you that. No, I'm he's a, not. He's not I'm one to part, fix it long term. I'm a parts changer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can change your parts. You know, what? I loved it on the show. Uh, uh, with one of the shows where they said, "Oh God, when he handles his the decoy, all the decoys with uh, with love, yeah. like a mother." You yeah. know, Good you Good remember gloves. that, John? Yep. Yep. Decoy technician. Yeah, that's what it was. He doesn't pass that torch on the stone. No, I sure have. Guarantee. Well, does does Stone I mean, do a good job? Yeah. No. Oh. Well, he kind of like a bull in a china shop. Yeah. But he'll call me every other week. Say, "Hey, we need another one of them Ripplers. That one broke." I said, "How'd it break?" He said, "Well, I was, you know, like, all right, now there, mm, there's yeah. how it always starts. I was, I was doing this, and you know, next thing I knew, I stepped on it. Oh, okay, well that makes mm-hmm. sense there. Well, he done got into that boxing and got slim and trim. Oh yeah, and feels like Captain America, and <laughs> he gets out there and <laughs> Captain America, <laughs> Superman, um, something, one of them. He's probably. more Captain America. He wants to get out there and go, so well, I let him go. I will say one behind Strong the scenes back. thing that happened. You remember whatever we did, uh, my first date or whatever yeah with with britney with all the and mustard packets all the mustard yeah you know how many emails we get about does martin still have mustard packets everywhere and i don't <laughs> that's what you know why i have those packets right i don't know it's not because i love mustard because if you liked mustard you would eat it right that's true i love corn dogs uh-huh. i don't like mustard but i can't throw it away because it's perfectly good <laughs> so you could argue that there's a, a mild hoarder. you could argue there's a mild hoarder, hoarder. in me but, it, <laughs> but that was bread hoarder. mustard hoarder. I mean, that's honest that, that, I, my dad yeah no i got a jar of pickles the other day for my pan did you eat them no they still on my on my desk godwin got world famous for love and pickles that he can't stand them <laughs> I do he like ate, him. He ate, them, one. he ate them bad ones. <laughs> he ain't ate one since. <laughs> now let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> that jar popped when I opened it, so it was supposed to be good. Yeah. yeah. There's hurt in your eyes right now. Oh, yeah. yeah. The pickles burnt Goblin that day. Oh, they did. They did. But when, <laughs> we were, when we filmed that deal with on the on the date, now he's getting me ready for the date. The one thing they didn't show that I wish they would have, it's the funniest thing to me that happened the whole time. <laughs> you were there. You remember. What? We we had a little table if set had, up out there I in the warehouse. had a camera facing the other way. I know. <laughs> it's we had a little table set up set up out there and they had me sitting on a little short ice chest. Yeah, a little tiny thing. So I went to sit down in my in my Sunday go to church britches because that's what, <laughs> you know, they picked for me to wear. And I got about halfway to that chair. 
And, buddy, that seam in the middle down there just <laughs> yeah. couldn't hold it no more. You know what? My britches, <laughs> my britches split all the way from my mm-hmm. crotch to halfway down my calf. Look like a union suit. <laughs> yeah, just just like they're supposed to. Like Why didn't that make the reel? Because they were filming the other way. They didn't yeah. have nobody behind us. You know how you always, they were always out in here. They didn't have anybody behind us. And my britches just went, Shh, and I went, uh oh. And they were like, what? I said, my what? britches are gone, boys. <laughs> they, they, they out. They said, well, just sit there and don't move because you can't reshoot your britches busting. Trust me, that's a that's a one take deal there. That, that's a, if you go back and notice, you notice my legs are about halfway across, trying to not show my my drawers just hanging out the bottom of them. I mean, like a parachute. Yeah. I'm gonna have to go back and watch that one. I guarantee you. That Again, was, yeah. I I just knew. I said, well, here's here's my big moment. I'm gonna be the guy who split his britches on TV, but. No, that's just a that's a one take wonder. You can't get that one again. Yeah. So. I liked it when uh, Al. Remember when Al was working up here for a while? Big Al. Yeah, both them weeks. That yeah, was fun. both. Oh, weeks. Al Robertson. <laughs> yeah. I was like, I don't remember. <laughs> I, and then I, oh, Al, I, yeah, it was. Al calls me eye. up. He's like, Hey Phil, I need you to come up here to the to the store. I need to show you something. I was like, What does Al want with me? I walk in and he's got boxes and boxes of. Crocs. He was like, "Pick out all you want and take them with you." I was like, "What? What? What? What?" He's like, "After that episode, Crocs loved Duck Dynasty." Yeah, Crocs. Oh, yeah. I was like, "Really? Give me some then." Yep, two wheel drive yep. and four wheel drive, whichever hey. model you needed. Yep. I got Crocs for life, I guarantee. Well, that's one pair. Of them things you can't tear them <laughs> rascals up. I've no. never owned a pair of Crocs. Brittany says that Crocs are the best form of oh, uh, wow. birth control ever made. So. That's what every time I put them on, she's like, "No, get take that off." I'm like, <laughs> I like, but but they're cozy, like sexy I, Crocs. I get they it. Comfy. They, they are. They are comfy. They're, they're like one of the best things ever to wear during duck season when you're when you're getting in and out of waders when you're wearing shoes literally twenty seconds a day, basically. Here's they're, John they're David. He can out relax, sigh, and he has never had a pair of Crocs. No, I'm he's, shocked. He's got on fuzzy house shoes. I'm that a house boy, shoes man. Hey, we talked about that last week. That boy pin raised now. He oh, went, he we went from a crib to a queen size bed. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> he, can't, he can't fly yeah. in the rain. No, man. no, he's out on that. I, you look harder than I know you are. That's a direct quote from an employee of ours. <laughs> You look harder than, than I, I know, know you, you are. <laughs> <laughs> showed up in boots one day and they go, oh, man. He showed up in boots, jeans, and a flannel. I'm like, all right, we got a poser. It was a T-shirt. Then he slid his sleeve up me out on a Rolex. Oh, like, here we go. There he is. Show it's a family heirloom, <laughs> people. Yeah. Quit emailing about it. Hold on. Uh, let me look at it. Let me, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to No, it's real. Not, Come on, John. This, this is a move, podcast. This real. Let's, let me look at it so I can... Give a report. This is embarrassing. Woo! This is two weeks oh, in a row. Goodness. Hey, look. That is nice, y'all. Hey, regardless, uh, y'all can't see this, but I mean, this thing is incredible. Okay, we're yeah. stopping. Where's my sunglasses? Cut. Wow. Regardless okay, of I'm what d- you think, you can't hide money. <laughs> All right, we'll be right it. back yeah. after this. Let's take to put our these sunglasses on. Give me another look. Uh oh. It was my papa's. Let's take a break. We're he was out. a good guy. We go. He's Corey's papa too, people. <laughs> Nobody makes fun of her. She ain't wearing no Rolex yes, like she you are. Might. <laughs> that's oh my god. That's because I inherited it and she didn't. Uh, pew, that's because I was pew, a favorite grandkid, pew. not her. Hey, I'm tired of these calls, scam calls I keep getting. They're horrible. Wow. I mean, it's it's worldwide Do now. Do you answer them? Uh, s- sometimes I answer the phone well. and it's like. You know, I know is, I'm getting there's nothing scared. wrong with your credit card, but every, <laughs> well, I, can't, look, I can't fix any of those calls. But what I can fix is for somebody trying to steal the title to your house. You know how you do that? HomeTitleLock.com. Did you know that the fastest growing white collar crime in America is the theft of your home title? Because now it's all kept digitally. So all they do, they print out a quit claim deed stating that you sold your home to them then they start taking out loans against the equity in your house Hmm. and you ain't got a clue until you get past due notices and the next thing you know you're on the hook for fifty hundred thousand dollars who knows you won't have any idea until they start calling so all you have to do now is go to hometitlelock.com you can register your address see if somebody's already done this to you and then if you use the code radio you can get 30 free days of protection. That's code radio at hometitlelock.com. Protect yourself 
protect your house, protect everything you've worked for. HomeTitleLock.com slash radio. Hey, I'm going to tell you something before we get back on. So, oh, we're on. What? Oh, we're we're on? always on. We're always on. Who knows uh, when they'll be cut in, cut out. They may not. No, go ahead. You're good. <laughs> <laughs> I hate to even say it because I don't want it used. But oh. but Willie called me when we were younger, you know, and getting along. Use he it. Was, he was like, "Hey, Phil, I, I need a big favor." I was like, "What?" He was like, "Man, can I borrow your cool car?" <laughs> 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 this RX-7 it was awesome back in the day. Yeah. I was like, "Well, sh- anything I got, yeah, sure, man, no problem, you know." I mean, we're buddies. He was like, I got to impress Corey. We're going to a dance. I was like, <laughs> That right. is an unknown story. So you're yeah. like responsible <laughs> for Willie and Corey. Yeah. Yeah, your car. <laughs> I, I just want to know. I don't even know if he remembers that, but that's a true story. I want to know what happened on the second date when he rolled up in that orange Mustang. Beep, uh, beep, Willie was kind of, I guarantee you, second date, he made Corey drive. 100%. Mm, he's smart. Yeah. Well, we swapped cars, yeah, and no, I couldn't turn. even get it to change gears. After but, that, no, his car. I was <laughs> driving his his junker <laughs> had fishing poles and yeah. uh, crawfish traps in the back. And guts, like, good and, grief! Oh my Stanky. god! RX, I remember that. I looked at him one time when I was looking for a vehicle. I don't know what an RX. I couldn't figure out where to put a deer look, in that look, thing. Look so. up 1983 RX. Yeah. Oh, they were super. I was. I, who I who wasn't made it? Is that a Mazda? Mazda. Well, yeah. RX. Yeah. That's Martin funny. wasn't even born in 1983. Oh, oh there it is. <laughs> I, I pulled up a photo. What was yours? Red, black. Oh, that's real close. That's 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 probably that it. was a see cool if you car see Willie in there. <laughs> <laughs> like my kids I'm watch a TV shocked. show called Cars, and that looks like the ones they make fun of on that. I don't think so, Junior. <laughs> John D. John D. This was the eighties. Yeah. Bro. When Man. were you born, John D? Nineteen eighty nine. I'm a product of the eighties. Oh. Well, you was born. I in got the shoes older than him. Yeah. yeah. Do you really? Yeah. Godwin. Yeah. Were you fifty three? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'll take it. What's that worse? Good. Uh, I was born in sixty two. Sixty two. Is that right? Okay. Phil, where where were you? Eighty two. You were born in 82? 70. <laughs> yeah, 82, and you were driving an 83, and it was the cool car? I know, Joe. How does no, I ain't. I 85, so, yeah. Okay. 85. I looked probably 78, 77, but no, 1985. Right smack in the middle of the 80s. That's me. That's your boy. I, I really did enjoy the part of the 80s I lived through. You don't even remember it. I mean, uh, it was like three weeks. Because nah. you were born in December, weren't nah. you? No, you're May. Yeah, you're Solid May, six months. Your anniversary is December. That's, I like the 80s, though. Yeah. Hashtag 51589. Was it a silver spoon? Was he born with a silver spoon? Okay. In All right. <laughs> no, no, I was Silver, wasn't. that's for the low class. Uh, like gold, <laughs> son. Oh, gold. gold. This this there's gold in that there family. Yeah, look, <laughs> look, on that, look on that wrist. You oh, think, that's, you think yeah. that spoon John was David, silver? John Davis, show me another little piece. Stop, will you stop it? <laughs> <laughs> I got well, you get uh, one thing from your papa and hey look this is his wedding ring too he did all right in give life. me another look yeah. at it the wedding ring Ooh, he wore it for wow. 50 years Pass now that I wear it let me show and Martin I wear his watch around too and oh. it's just something I do to remember my papa so hey, deal I, with it I appreciate it I actually have my grandfather's wedding band I just don't wear it because I'm scared to death I'll lose it so I don't t- I've never I never take mine off so yep. I just wear it ever since I was married. That, I, I've been wearing it for 10 years. I swapped a silicone in the fear of losing. Oh, uh, groove ring? The old groove, yep. I, I have been seeing those a lot on the internet. Yeah. I don't know much about them. Uh, just a, a cheaper, safer, more convenient option for your wedding band. But yep. we get fancy on anniversary dinner stuff like that. I break old Goldie back out. He break I, it I'll break old out. Goldie back out. Hey, but. I've never seen Cy. I need to tell y'all this story. I've never seen Cy wear a wedding band, ever. All right? So when him and Christine got married, he actually pulled a a ring off of the cigar and put it on her finger and said, I'll replace that with a real ring one day. (laughs) This is a true story. And he did. He he gave her a a ring. Now, when a few years ago, do y'all remember when he had his, uh, like, I don't know. Vow renewal. 45th vow renewal, whatever. Removal, vowel removal. That's what I need. <laughs> well, he picked out he picked out a diamond, and uh, he picked the diamond out, and he picked the ring out, and I helped him because Christine was like, 
Philip go with him and make sure he gets something <laughs> good. And he did get something very good. It was awesome. And even even today, if you ask him about it, he's like oblivious of what he got. But Christine knows it was awesome. So, But I've never seen Cy wear a, a wedding ring. He might wear one of those, though, Justin. He may. But I know yeah. one thing. He's got it. Yeah, he's fun. None of those Robertsons wear one, though. Willie I don't wear them. Willie's got a tattoo. Willie got the tattoo. Yeah. Uh, what about Jace? Jace wore one for a hot minute, and then it fell out of the duck yeah. line, and he I remember went back. That. Oh, that's yeah. what got him on that metal detecting he's on. Oh, there. I see. That's I what see started that the addiction. Time. That's what started the metal detecting. Yep. Yes, was looking for his was looking he for his wedding it, band. Didn't he find it? He found one. Yeah. But who knows if it was his or not? That was yeah. one of my favorite episodes, by the way, is when Martin and Jep were and oh, were at size looking for that treasure. The, the Vietnamese yeah. dong. Yeah. 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 I always thought it was a joke. I had to. That was my first time to fact check Cy. Was like. Vietnamese dong. This just sounds like I'm I'm getting hoodwinked here. No, that was their currency yeah. back when the war was going on. So, well, he called me after that episode, and he was like, "Look, I got this twelve by twenty four building over here. It's got a big dent in the side of it." He was like, "Haul this thing off." I was like, "A dent in the side? Yeah, no, I'll I'll fix that." And he was like, "No, you haul it off." I was like, "Perfect." Now I got it and put all kinds of stuff in you it. Fixed it's, the, it's awesome. You, you fixed the dent. You covered, you he covered it, it up. And I found <laughs> and I found the dongs. Did you? How many dogs did you find? No. no I did find a lot of stuff though. He just left all kinds of stuff junk in there. Oh yeah. I remember <laughs> the only thing we found was the thing of change he had. And he was convinced that a quarter from nineteen sixty was worth more than twenty five cents. I was like, No, oh, so it's still just a quarter. I mean, I don't know. I guess he thought that they accrued interest while they were underground. I don't really understand what his financial thinking was on that one, but that's all we did. We found a big Folgers can full of full of change. No, no Vietnamese dong for us. If if but if you look up the value of Vietnamese dong, twenty three thousand Vietnamese dong equals one dollar. I was about to say we what? actually come wow. out way ahead by finding the quarters. Yeah. <laughs> oh wow. I, I just looked it up. I said I don't know why we were looking for this. Yeah. Unless there was millions well, and son, then you'd have like two dollars a couple bucks yeah you'd have enough to go to chick-fil-a <laughs> couple or something hundred bucks. And, and call it good ta- but god one could buy a taco taco yeah but not with sour cream that's extra be, he likes it on the side on, on the side of the shell on the outside <laughs> <laughs> uh, i like old... burritos thank you burritos better than taco unless it's soft shell do you have a hard shell burrito no well, then, my question is, then, why in that one episode did you say that your hands smell like taco meat if, in fact, they actually smell like burrito, burrito meat? Yeah. Yeah, same I, thing. Same meat goes in both of them. That was a question that we always get. What did he mean? What did you mean? It's semantics. It taco, was, uh, burrito. I remember we sunk the boat. Oh, I and remember. We were, and it just must, that smell from that river. Well, must, it was a cutoff. It's cut off, so it was kind of, it wasn't. Had no current. So. so by your estimation, cutoff smells like taco meat. It did when I got up out of it. All right. So I got a question about that. It was muddy, just old muddy. Does the water cause the green wing till to smell to smell bad and green wing? Green wing. No. No, the blue no. wing. Blue wing. Blue wing. Okay, the blue wing. Then blue wings is a little rough when they come through in September, but that's because right now blue wings are fine right now. You eat yeah. them right now, they're good. You try to eat them things in September, they need a lot of TLC. They need a lot of distractions around them. So my question is, Godwin, is that what you is that what you were smelling is the the funk of the water during yeah. that time? Just funky yeah. water. But by his nose it smelled like taco meat. Which I ain't ever smelled good. nothing in that Washtaw River smell like taco meat. Well it was it was dinner time. I was hungry. <laughs> Godwin doesn't go nose blind to the to the yeah. Washtaw River. He's hungry. Somehow. Oh, well, let's take our last break, and we'll we'll wrap this baby up right after this. Wrap it up. I hate wrapping programs. <laughs> <laughs> hey, John David used to be a rapper in high school. I know how to rap. <laughs> Not like that, though. I don't even know what that was. That's the fat boys. Boom. You're too young. Boom, the boom. fat boy. You know. Well... Now we- <laughs> <laughs> that 
I love Godwin's doing the. There it is. Jake Jake breaking. Yeah. Godwin's good at that Jake breaking. (laughs) All right. Well, we're here. This is uh, this is probably arguably one of my favorite parts of the show. Johnny D. Hey. What has come in from the hello at duckcallroom.com hotline? Where are we at this week? At duckcallroom.com. And I'm looking for it. There it is. Uh-oh, Here's the first one from Mark Leve- Levesoir. Say I'm that. Go with Levesoir. Levesoir. From Say that ten times real fast. Mark Levesoir. Mark Levesoir. It might be Levasser, but he's from Canada, so I'm going to go with Levesoir. Levesoir. Oh, we got a Canadian in the house. I from like it. Demet, Alberta, Canada. Mark, uh, he wants to see footage or a photo, and we've got a lot more of these requests, of when Cy ramped. And told his story about the uh, the monster truck. Oh, good. And I you s- said you had it, I so you sent it I to sent me. I sent it to you. I sure did. So. I've got Cy holding it because I gave it to him for his birthday. Yeah, what picture. happened to the original? I mean, on my cell phone? Yeah. I don't even have that phone anymore. It's gone. So all I could That's do right. was the I had a picture of it. Philip didn't hear about this revolutionary thing called iCloud. iCloud. The cloud. <laughs> but... I mean, I did blow it up, oh, make a picture, and give it to him for I think his birthday. We one did, year. so it is. So we will have a picture. Of oh, it's Cy. legitimate. Him it's, holding the picture. We do Perfect. not have the picture, but it is framed, and we have a picture of Sai holding the picture, the picture. Picture, and we're going to put it on yes. the Duck Call Room Instagram and the Duck Call Room Facebook. So go there if you've been dying to see this photo. Go there. Yeah, we'll have it up, for and you. we will have it up for you thanks mark from from Can- that's and that's from mark canadia levassoir levassoir from canada We're which, going to that canada. was more than mark levassoir yeah, by I mean, the way let us yeah what are you talking about me and Galvin, we, we have an take. event in canada yeah but not in alberta we on the other side of canada what side's alberta on that one that's on the west side out there yeah so yeah. that one I'm pointing. It doesn't the do west good. side. We're on different. Yeah, we're we're facing each other. We yeah. can't point. Use, yeah. the, use a compass. All right. So big fan of the show, Lisa Ainsworth, by the way. She emailed me this week, and she sent something. What did, what did she send? Boom, boom, boom. She sent it. I lost it. But she sent it for Cy, but he's not here. But y'all have to see this because it's incredible. And for those of you that uh, can't watch us online, it is a T-shirt. I do exist. <laughs> <laughs> with a picture of a black panther. Wow. It's, so when Cy is back, funny. I'm going to give this. Don't tell him about it because um, he's not going to watch this anyway. <laughs> so yeah. That's why I know. We don't hey, have to worry about it being a spoiler alert. Hey, so he didn't even watch We have a Black show. Panther t-shirt for I do that says I do exist just for Cy from psychic cool person Lisa Ainsworth. Lisa, I appreciated that. Whenever I opened that package in my office, I giggled and Martin said, what are you laughing at? Yeah. I said, we got something here. <laughs> we got a live <laughs> one. Oh, we got a live pretty- one. Um, and then, so, you know, a couple weeks ago, I don't think you were here. We talked about vasectomies. Yeah, let's not do that. No, I did hear about this. Yes. People keep sending in their vasectomy stories. Yeah. Godwin. And they're all horror stories. Uh, I know it. Why would you do that? (laughs) (laughs) So my man, Andrew Elliston, says he's he was having his vasectomy and about 35 minutes in. Hey, Andrew, red flag. Number one, these things don't last 35 minutes. The doctor tells him that his fastest one he ever did was seven minutes. And he was like, all right, pretty good. And then the doctor looked at him and said, but today's a different story. (laughs) And it lasted an hour and a half. So Uh, Andrew is this doctor's official longest vasectomy ever. So, uh, oh, hour and a half. That that's yowzers. Well, sorry for all the urologists. We just cost a bunch Mm. of money by people listening to this. But no, because my good friend Jordan Summit, who works in an office that's like right down the hall, he's headed there tomorrow. Mm. Good luck, Jordan. I hope he's somewhere in between the seven minutes and an hour and a half. Because what's the under over, Godwin? (laughs) Twelve minutes. We. Godwin's face. Every every time we bring up the sex, he's tired of it. Godwin, it hurts him to think about. I hate that stuff. Makes me. And then the last guy. I don't even like to to neuter dogs or anything. I mean, it's that's just. 
Well, I don't either. That's why the vet does. Uh, <laughs> keep, that, <laughs> keep that separate and apart. That's why I went to a doctor. Yeah. Man. Well, I know. That's what I'm talking about, to have them done. Really? It's just, you, you taking. It's, <sighs> see, that don't bother me on dogs. Yeah, no, you don't. Well, do you that. used to work them cows. You didn't. You didn't. You didn't do it to them cows. Well, that's different. <laughs> <laughs> Those are cows. Look, and our buddy Andrew Parks, who sent in last time, oh, I like and told Andrew. his story. He said he was fired up to be featured on the podcast. He said some men are known by their incredible deeds they did in life, others by their wealth and power. My legacy rests secure in the fact that my vasectomy story was featured on the Duck Call Room podcast. <laughs> there it is. Way Andrew. to go, Andrew. Andrew Parks, aka Mr. Snip. He, Andrew, uh, if I have one reply to that, to Andrew is dream big. Dream big, baby. Dream big, son. Take your shot. That's that's where we're at on that deal. We got any more? Uh, there's one more that I wanted to get to, and I've lost it. Oh boy, it's gone. Oh, some person asked. This one was ridiculous, and I feel like I need to clear the air. If it's yuppie to eat at Chick Fil A, absolutely say, not. One no. thing right now, that is the Lord's chicken. <laughs> you enjoy it. You can eat as much Chick Fil A as you want. But and if I, anybody makes fun of anybody for eating Chick Fil A, well then, yeah, deal with it. I love Chick Fil A. Chick Fil A is mean, fantastic. They're happy to serve you. I will yep. say that I do think it's mildly overrated. Incorrect. But mm. it is really good. I'm not. Oh, it's it is good. good. I like it's it. it's very good. I like but, biscuits. Thank you. That was yeah. Alexander Lundell. He seems like a young man. I think he wants to, you know, say he kills everything he eats. But Alexander. Go, go, to, go, go get some that fried chicken, son. Go, we go we chicken ain't judging you. Get on that fried chicken bag. We ain't judging you. Get on it, son. Yeah, we ain't, especially that spicy one. He good now. He Me good. and Martin used to eat two of those. We'd go to lunch, and we'd order four chicken sandwiches and two fries. And good when we thing. went on a diet, we Which, would just eat one chicken sandwich and two fries. Or pancakes. call the fries. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes we did still eat two chicken sandwiches. That is true. Always oh, say, so you know what? Leave that vegetable out there. We ain't, we ain't trying to get on yeah. him. JohnDavidDiet.com. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's called Better Decisions. Better Decisions. That's our diet. Plan. One chicken Better sandwich decisions. instead of two. Yeah, there you go. Hmm. And unsweet tea. But that's it for all of the hello at Duck Call Room uh, shout-outs and podcast emails. Be sure to check out that photo. We're going to send it over to our people so they can put it up of Cy holding the picture of Cy jumping the monster truck. That's the picture I want up there. But, Martin. That's, Take us away. Yeah. Hey, that's what we're going to do. Generally, this would be size part where he leaves us with a with a verse and a thought for the week. Last week, Willie did it, and uh, this week, it's it's on me. So, Brother Martin. Uh, you know, I've really been thinking about this a lot. Actually, I haven't thought about it, but I do have a handy app. And uh, it gives a verse of the day, and I just happen to take a look down and see what today's verse is. And, and I really like it because uh, I think it speaks a lot to where we're at uh in the world and as society and and just in life in general it's first john three eighteen, mm. and it's dear children let's not merely say that we love each other let us show the truth by our actions i don't know if there's a whole lot that i can expound on there amen but I think it just goes to show you that in in your life and in anything that your actions will always speak louder than any words you may use. So as long as you're you're living what you preach, practicing what you preach, then everything else will take care of itself. And that's my thought for the week. Yep. Amen. Awesome. Amen. We'll it's see y'all next time. Philip, thank you for stepping in for Cy this week. Appreciate always you, Always enjoy being with you, boys. Hey, I love you. I love you too, brother. Yeah. We love all y'all. Thank y'all for listening. We'll see y'all next time here on the Duck Call Room. Cow. <laughs> I still need a jingle. <laughs>